Wait, what? What was that? Hi, and alls so Welcome back. And if you are new, hello, my name is Jesse, and today we're going to react to the official trailer for The Tomorrow War. I have absolutely no idea what this is. I have not ever heard anything about it. All I know is that it's on Amazon Prime and it has Chris Pratt in it. I'm thinking Tomorrow War, Futuristic War, which makes me very excited because Robbie and I have a really difficult time sometimes, most of the time. He's a war nut. He likes fighting and action movies. I pretty much like everything, so I'm very diverse with what I choose, but he's comedy or war. And usually it's only a comedy because I talk him into it. So it's a futuristic war movie. That's perfect for us. I'm in. So I hope this is going to excite me. Let's just jump in. Before we do, don't forget to throw a like up or a dislike if you do or do not like what you see. But comment down below and let me know why. Subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring, ling, ling, the bell to be notified about new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. It is $5 a month. That's $1.25 a week. It has all of my unedited reactions of everything that I do on YouTube. In addition to more, I just did a reactory. I say reactory because it's reaction commentary. I talk a lot to Army of the Dead, which was really fun. I loved it. I feel like I am not in a very big amount of company when I say that, but I thought it was fantastic. I loved it. So yeah, go check it out. But without further ado, this is the official trailer for The Tomorrow War. Okay, none of you are my child. Has anyone seen Miri? Uh oh. That was quite an entrance. We are fighting a war 30 years in the future. Is this a joke? Our enemy is not human. We need you to fight. I got drafted. I will be back. Drafted! Why is this happening? What about the teacher's deferment and the veteran's deferment? If I don't go, they're going to draft you in my place. But if something does happen to me, you and Mary will be taken care of. If something happens to you, Dan, 70% of draftees do not return. Wow. Two times a man does what's best for his family, not himself. I love Move him. your shirt, please. Wait, what's this for? It's just a test. Oh, a seatbelt. Was it a driving test? No, you don't have jokes in the future? Ah! This device facilitates your jump to and from the future war. One minute to jump. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, yeah. It's like Take on that. him. You just flip it around like that. How are you so calm? Long story. Yeah, ex military. Yeah. Who do I know him from? Kind of a short story, I guess. Three, two, one. In 11 oh, months' time, cool. all Aww. human beings in the future will be wiped from the face of the earth. Unless you help us. Oh, what are they fighting? This is not human. I was trying to save my daughter. If I got to save the world to save her, then I'm going to do it. This is the end. The human species will disappear from the face of the Earth. We are literally living on borrowed time. There's still a chance that we can stop this war from ever happening. So we gotta fight. Well, it was nice knowing you. Who do I know him from? It's from something funny. Wait, what? What was that? It kind of looked like the monsters from A Quiet Place. That's creepy. <laughs> That's so creepy! I love that premise, though. That idea is really good. They're from the future. And they are drafting people from the past to fight in a future war because if they don't win this war, then Earth is not going to exist. So they don't really have a choice, or they do, but if you make the choice that is not to go, then you're dying in 11 months if they don't win the war. The monsters kind of looked like the... That growl, that... Well, that wasn't... That was a bad <laughs> impression. That's my best impression. Sorry. That kind of growl that like, ugh, it makes your skin crawl and feel like it's like in your ears growl. It's, ugh, it's chilling. I love that. That looks really, really good. I'm definitely going to see it. Who 
is the guy the guy that he was talking to when he first went in he's like it's a long story i was in the military ha <laughs> ha i guess it's not a long story that <laughs> that one Sam Richardson. Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Mike and Dave need wedding dates. He's the sister's fiance. I love that movie. That was hysterical. But this is a pretty good cast. You have J.K. Simmons. You've I am definitely going to see this. I think Robbie will enjoy it. I think I will enjoy it. And I think it's it looks like it's going to be a good time. Everyone throw a like up or dislike if you do or do not like what you see. But comment down below and let me know why. Subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. $5 a month. That's $1.25 a week. It has all man edited reactions of everything that I do on YouTube and additional more. So go check it out. <sighs> that is it. Dobby is here, by the way. Say hi. She looked thrilled, didn't she? <laughs> Love you, you little Satan kitty. So long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye.